His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in the Kingdom of Malaysia on an official visit in response to an invitation from the King of Malaysia, His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin Sultan Iskandar, to participate in the coronation ceremony of His Majesty King of the Kingdom of Malaysia. His Majesty was greeted upon arrival at Kuala Lumpur International Airport by the sons of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim, Prince Ismail, Prince Idris, Prince Abdurrahman, and Prince Abu Bakr, as well as the Malaysian Minister of Communications, Fahmi Fadl, and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Malaysia, Dr. Walid Khalifa Almana, along with a number of officials and members of the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Malaysia. His Majesty had left the country earlier today. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at His Majesty's residence in the capital Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Malaysia Anwar Ibrahim. His Majesty welcomed the Malaysian Prime Minister and expressed his pleasure to take part in the coronation ceremony of His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim bin Sultan Iskandar, praying the Almighty to bless His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim and to grant him success in achieving his noble goals for all that is good. His Majesty reviewed with the Malaysian Prime Minister the close historical relations and bilateral cooperation between the two brotherly countries and the steps that contribute to supporting and strengthening them at all levels. He also exchanged views on a number of issues and topics of common interest and stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to extend bridges of cooperation and strengthen ties of friendship with Malaysia in a manner that achieves the aspirations of the leadership of the two countries and serves the interest of their brotherly people. For his part, the Prime Minister of Malaysia welcomed his Majesty and his visit to Malaysia, expressing his deep thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's keenness and interest in advancing the distinguished relations of the two countries to the best levels. Looking forward to further growth and development to achieve all common goals and aspirations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on adopting July 18th as Union Pledge Day, which commemorates the historic meeting in 1971 where UAE founder, the late 
Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan and other Emirates rulers signed the Union document and the UAE Constitution and announced the official name of the United Arab Emirates. His Majesty said that the celebration indicates His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed's dedication to strengthen the national identity and fostering the spirit of belonging and loyalty in the UAE. His Majesty praised the UAE's development and achievements across various domains and its esteemed position in the international community. His Majesty wished the UAE and its people continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Highness. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa is one of the most promising and interesting figures in the Gulf region and the Middle East. With these words quoted from the White House American journalist David Ignatius who introduced the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as a keynote speaker at the 15th edition of the Aspen Security Forum held in Colorado, U.S. On this occasion, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken a clear path in enhancing dialogue and cooperation and extending a helping hand to all the countries of the world. Thanks to the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the efforts of the esteemed government headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness indicated that the Arab summit recently hosted by Bahrain emphasizes the country's role in the values of peace, dialogue and coexistence among people. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain has a close and historical relationship with the United States of America, extending over many years that has witnessed developments in various fields reflected by the signing of the Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, CSIPA, which is an important cooperation agreement between the two countries in the economic, military, political, security and defense, science, technology fields. His Highness pointed out that His Majesty the King leads a vision to consolidate the foundations of peace and prosperity, as well as open channels of communications with all the countries, noting that the Kingdom of Bahrain was and remains on the path promoting peace and dialogue. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, called on Bahraini youth to invest in the training opportunities provided by Youth City 2030, which were designed with great care to contribute to the development of national youth caters and competencies, and to advance innovation and leadership. His Highness pointed out that the outcomes of the Youth City tell the success stories of this pioneering initiative that contributed to the graduation of successive groups of Bahraini youth. The Youth City Project this year comes to complete the city's goals, which is full of achievements and is in line with the economic vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain 2030. Through its events and activities, the Youth City provides an opportunity for open environment for the youth care that is compatible with the national and international trends and priorities. Youth City 2030 returns to welcoming innovators in its 13th edition with the aim of discovering youth talents and empowering Bahraini youth to make them the first choice in the labor market as the city distinctive programs contribute to the formation of qualified Bahraini caters to participate effectively in the comprehensive development of the Kingdom of Bahrain in its various fields. In this edition, the city opened its educational centers, the first of which is the Center for Leadership Preparation and Entrepreneurship, which will specialize in leadership programs and developing personal skills as well as the Health and Sports Center which is concerned with providing health and sports programs in addition to the media and entertainment center which also specializes in educational workshops on media and entertainment and the science and technology center which will provide specialized programs in technology engineering and mechanics the city's pioneering initiatives contribute to providing young people with the necessary skills of education training and experience through their scientific design based on the needs of the young people and the requirements of the labor market in order for them to begin their journey towards excellence, creativity and leading the future of the kingdom. Speaker of the Council of Representatives Ahmed bin Salman Lim Salam and Speaker of the Shura Council of Saudi Arabia Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al-Sheikh 
co-chaired a discussion session to review parliamentary cooperation between the two countries. During the meeting, the two sides commended the historical Bahrain-Saudi relations and the advanced strategic partnership led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, and supported by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin bin Mohammed Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. The meeting underscored the contributions of both countries in addressing. Gulf, Arab, Islamic, regional, international, and humanitarian issues. It also emphasized their endeavors to advance principles of peace, coexistence, and the achievement of sustainable development goals. A memorandum of understanding was signed during the session, and it aims at serving joint interests in sustainable development and innovation. The MOU focuses on the promotion of knowledge, exchange, diplomatic experiences, and parliamentary delegations between the two countries. On the sideline of her participation in the high-level political forum at the United Nations headquarters in New York City, the Minister of Sustainable Development and Chief Executive Officer of the Economic Development Board, Ms. Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, met with the Minister of Economy of the Sultanate of Oman, Dr. Saeed bin Mohammed Al Sagri. During the meeting, Al Khalif congratulated the Omani Minister of Economy for his country's submission of the Voluntary National Review on the progress made in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Praising the Sultanate's commitment to accelerating the pace of achieving these goals and the efforts and initiatives that have been undertaken in this regard. The Minister of Sustainable Development and Chief Executive Officer of the Economic Development Board, Noor bint Ali Al Khalif, held bilateral meetings on the sidelines of participating in the high level political forum on sustainable development at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The meetings are aimed at enhancing international cooperation in sustainable development and exchanging expertise and the best practices to achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Minister Al Khalif met with the current president of the United Nations Economic and Social Council, Paula Narvez, during a meeting with the Secretary General of the International Telecommunication Union, Ms. Doreen Martin. Minister Al Khalif affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's support for the work of the International Telecommunications Union to strengthen the communications and technology sector as one of the priority economic sectors. The Minister of Sustainable Development also met with the Deputy Secretary General of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, Ms. Mary Beth. During the meeting, the importance and role of digital transformation, data and financial inclusion in achieving sustainable development was also highlighted. The chairman of the board of directors of the real estate regulatory agency, engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, made a visit to the private residences Bahrain Bay project. During the visit, the chairman of the board of directors of the real estate regulatory authority praised the project, stressing that it reflects the development and renaissance of urban and investment projects in the kingdom, noting that at the same time the importance of these projects in providing more residential opportunities and attracting new investments. For his part, the CEO of RIRA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, indicated that the authority is committed to supporting real estate developers to ensure that projects are implemented in accordance with the highest international standards. The managing director of Eagle Hills DR, Dr. Mahar Shar, expressed his appreciation for the fruitful cooperation between the public and private sectors, praising the role of RIRA in providing all means and facilities to ensure the success of developing real estate projects. The Deputy National Security Advisor Sheikh Khaled bin Ali bin Jabr Al Khalifa affirmed that the strategic partnerships linking the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America at all levels emerge from the long standing historical relations between the two friendly countries, noting the importance of advancing prospects for bilateral coordination and cooperation towards more integrated levels to serve common visions and aspirations. This came when Sheikh Khaled bin Ali headed the participating delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain at the meeting of the Defense Working Group of the Comprehensive Agreement on Security Integration and Prosperity between the two countries. The American delegation was headed by the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Middle East Affairs, Daniel Shaparo. In this regard, the Deputy National Security Advisor pointed out the importance of this strategic agreement through which the two friendly countries seek to advance the levels of cooperation between them in the security and military fields. 
modern technology, trade and investment. The meeting also discussed a number of issues related to defense and strategic bilateral security, which were discussed in addition to a review of the situation on the regional and international arenas and the issues of common interest.